Here's my pickums for Champs 2024 playoffs, and it's an absolute crazy group. Uh, sorry, a crazy playoffs because the group stages was so crazy as well. With Sentinels and Edward Gaming knocking out Paper X and Gen G, and then Trace also being number one seed, has created a crazy looking playoffs with not really like a solid like team that I would say like guarantees their way into finals, like I would say that Gen G would do, or even like Paper X would be like probably like a top four, maybe top six team. Um, there's like super, it's like a lot harder now to like quantify these teams, in my opinion. Um, only slightly though, but I do think it is a bit harder to quantify them. So, DRX versus Sentinels. I think that this is going to be a DRX's favor, but I do think that off of the back of Sentinels getting the momentum from beating Gen G, I do think that they can push through DRX if they come out swinging. If they don't, I think DRX will, will beat them. Um, I think Sentinels maybe look a bit better because they beat, beat Gen G, but I do think that Gen G weren't playing great at that point, and I think that. It does take a good team to beat Gen G even in that state, but I also think not to take away from what Sentinels did. I do think that Gen G were in a weakened weakened point, so I don't think they were actually going to be. Um, I don't think it really reflects Sentinels being a higher level. I think that they are just um, they just took advantage of Gen G's downfall essentially. Um, Trace versus Edward Gaming. So I think that this is going to be so these three games are all national games, so they have national seeding. So number one seed for for China was ADG, and number three seed was Trace. So it would be very easy for me to do this. However, I actually think Trace is going to win this one. The reason why is because I think they are looking better this tournament. The one thing against this, though, for me, is that EDG looked insane versus Paper X mechanically. And if they play like that, it's going to be hard for me to think that Trace wins. Um, so I do think that EDG might have slightly more chance of winning. I'm going to put Trace here because I believe that they might have the form on Gen G, sorry, on, on EDG, and that might mean that they end up winning this game. Um, and I think in when you're against, like, so these two teams are really strong mechanically, right? And I think that when you're a team that's uh, strong mechanically and you play against another team that's strong mechanically, then it's really important to have the momentum because i think momentum affects your individual mechanics more than it does affect the confidence in your team as like making players and that kind of stuff it definitely affects those things but i think it affects the individual mechanics more um so i think that trace might end up winning this because of that but i think edg do stand a pretty decent chance if not probably actually the majority chance but i'm going to predict trace here i think edg have a decent like they're probably like 53 percent chance or something like ridiculous of that um like ridiculous ridiculously close G2 versus Lev. I think Lev will end up winning this one. Um, I think this might also be one that I think people may predict G2 to win. Um, but I think it's Lev is going to win. The reason why I think people predict G2, I think G2 are really strong internationally. And I also think as well that they don't... I, I, I'm not sure exactly historically if they do um, do, they, do this. But I think they're, they're a type of team that I would expect them to get revenge on teams they've recently been, be, been beaten by. So the fact that they lost to Lev makes me think that they're going to win there. Um... However, I do think that Leviathan is going to have the slight edge. I also think G2 may have the form on them as well. So it might be that G2 are just simply playing better currently um, and they end up just rolling them. But I do think that Leviathan do have that strategic depth that matches G2. And I do think they have some ind good individual players, which I think G2 are like, is around their weakness, right? Their individual prowess is definitely G2's more like weak, uh, on the weaker side. But I do think they are strong individual players anyway. Um... But Lev have like Aspas, Tex. I think Mazino is playing very, very well, at least comparatively to how he used to play. So I do think that Leviathan will win on that basis. However, I think G2, when they go against international opponents, will show that they are good. Um, and, and I think that also there's a decent chance they beat Lev anyway. Um, so next one is Team Meredith versus Fnatic. And I think this one is really close. I think Fnatic could very easily win once again. But I do think it's going to be Team Heretics. I think that might also be me predicting an upset potentially this might all be me predicting upsets think about it um here aside from drx um the reason why is because i think that team heretics has the momentum of beat to get of beating gen g and going first in their group i think that they beat gen g in a stronger state than what sentinels beat gen g so i think it actually matters more for predicting what their level is going to be i think they're actually pretty strong although i do think they still beat a gen g that was making atypical mistakes and I also think Team Heretics has some really strong individual players. And they are one of the teams that I would say definitely cook when it comes to strats. They make their own strats very, very well. They 
innovate very, very well. And I think that they're, they're a team that will bring some new strats that we haven't seen before into these types of places in, in playoffs. They will bring them against Leviathan. They will bring them against Fnatic. They will bring them against potentially DRX if they play them, that kind of stuff. They will bring them against these these teams who win in the international tournaments. Um, next is Sentinels versus EDG. And I think that Sentinels... They don't think they're going to win here. I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's going to be EDG. Uh, I think EDG um, is the stronger team um, because I think that they're just going to roll Sentinels mechanically. They do have tens in Zekun and flashes of the other three players can beat them mechanically for sure. But I think on average, EDG is going to roll Sentinels a bit. Sentinels may have the strategic depth to mitigate some of their aggression, but I don't think they've really shown that. Um, so it will have to be a new thing they they bring to the table here to beat EDG, in my opinion. Um, so I do think that EDG will win this. G2 versus Fnatic. I think G2 will end up winning this one, which feels really bad to lose Fnatic without them winning a series, by the way. It feels awful because I don't think that makes sense. I think that Fnatic will end up beating Team Heretics, but then I also think then Team Heretics will have to beat Leviathan, maybe. Wait, maybe it's like a complete flip that way. That might be... Because it looks so weird right now for this. Like, this looks fine to me, but this looks weird to me is the problem, um, I think. And... I do think G2 is a better team than Fnatic overall. Internationally, I do think that G2 will win. I think they, have, they can match each other strategically, but I think G2 has that clutch factor against international teams. I think they have the prep advantage personally against um, international teams. I think Fnatic also are in a, bit, a tiny bit of a weakened state without having Leo. I think Leo is a very strong, impactful player, and to not have that player on your team um, like you would normally kind of sucks. Uh, I think Hero is a good player, but I don't think he's on the level of Leo. Um, and I think, I, think that's, I don't think that's crazy to say. Uh, DRX versus Trace. So I think DRX are clearly the better team, um, to be honest. Um, I think Trace are good, and, but I think they're kind of like, in my opinion, I estimate them as like kind of the mini version of DRX or like the stroity, uh, like, like maybe the, like the less strategically depth version of, of uh, like deep version of DRX. And I think they're maybe like the slightly better version of EDG. Um, like that's going to have a C Trace. So I think they're not quite as strong as DRX. And I think DRX are going to like make APAC proud in this in this, uh, in this this playoffs. I think they're the only APAC team that made it into playoffs. And I think they will go pretty much all the way. Um, so I'm hoping that DRX... And that's what I'm kind of hoping for, honestly, for the APAC fans too, to be honest. I hope that they do have like the DRX like, stomping everyone. Because it would be pretty cool to watch as well. Uh, maybe not necessarily stomping. Maybe, you know, maybe the series is kind of close to make it a bit more hype. But like, yeah, I think DRX are one of the teams that I would say are going to get to grand finals. Not to spoil this one, but yeah, there you go. Leviathan versus Team Heretics, I think, will be in Team Heretics' favour. I think Team Heretics are, for me, a top two team as well. Top three, potentially. Um, it depends on like, who, the, who the other team, how the other team performs. Um, but I think they're like top top four, three, two, one kind of team. They're in the top four, right? Um, so that's why I was expect Team Heretics to beat Leviathan. I think they are stronger. Um, they're like pretty, pretty matched individually, but I think Team Heretics has that strategical depth that Leviathan doesn't have. Um, I think Leviathan do have the ability, though, to beat teams that are, tend to be worse than them. But I think when it comes to team, beating teams that are better than them, they can definitely struggle. Um, like teams that are like better strategically than them. Um, because I do think that Aspast and like, and like Aspast, Tex, Mazino, King, all these players that are good mechanically, I think they can struggle to be that X factor that like wins you games. Aspast, I think, is the, pretty much the only one, in my opinion, that would win games by himself, like in certain, in certain, at certain times. I think the other three players. Definitely have struggled to do that in the past. I think King has done it a tiny bit, but I think the other two players have struggled to do it in the past. Um, and I think that there is a chance that, that could happen, but I think it's more likely that Team Heretics win that, with like Woot being the one that does that for Team Heretics, or Benji Fishy like holding sites permanently on defense and that kind of stuff, I think could actually happen. Um, next, we've got Leviathan versus EDG. I think Leviathan will be EDG. I think that they have the despite them not really beating teams that are better than them and not having the strategic depth I, I would expect them to, to have versus like Team Heretics or DRX to beat them, I think they will have the ability to crush EDG's aggression. So that's the reason why I put them above EDG. Trace versus G2, I think this is in G2's favour. However, I do think that Trace do have a decent chance of beating G2 because I do think that teams that have a good, um, that have good mechanical ability do have a chance to beat g2 more because they can have be susceptible to being rolled a bit individually because i do think that the strongest mechanical player on g2 is probably valin and yeah it, 
uh, he's also the, the OGL, basically, and I do think that a lot of G2 are, like, pretty similar mechanically. Overall, I think they're a lot more, like, spread out. They're a lot more team fight, like, team-based, um, team-orientated, and I don't think that it's going to be... It's not really great for their matchups versus Chinese teams, um, basically, is what I would say. I've talked about that in the past as well, but I think that G2 are less likely to lose to Chinese teams the further on through the tournament they go because they're able to anti-strat and then similarly Leviathan EDG. I would expect them to then crush the aggression of those Chinese teams. Um, but we'll see. DRX versus Team Heretics. Um, I think we'll go into DRX's favor at least the first time. Then I don't know what happens in Grand Finals. Um, well, we need to get there yet. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to have a look. Leviathan versus G2. Uh, so Lev versus G2. Um, once again, it's in like another rematch, like the third rematch this year, basically. Um, in these, like, in, in my in my predictions. Um, and I think that this could be where G2 get their revenge. I could it could have easily been here as well, be here as well. But I think that G2 will get their revenge here and beat Leviathan. Um, with like the warmth they get, the anti stratting and that sort of stuff, they will end up beating Leviathan, I think, um, because they are a very, very strong team. Um, and I think when they've got the time to plan and the time and the, the, the time to like cook basically, cook comes from the strats, that'll be really insane. G2 versus Team Heretics, which I think is going to be a very, very fun match if it ever happens, because I think both these teams are really, really strong strategically, strategically as I've already said. And I think that Team Heretics will end up winning this because I think some of the individual players like Woot and um, Riens and Miniboo um, will end up uh, like destroying some of the G2 strats um, on an individual level. Direx versus Team Heretics, I think will go either way. It literally could. Team Heretics could get revenge on DRX here. DRX could just simply be the better team. I actually don't know how this matchup is going to go. It is the most coin flippy of a grand final I've ever seen. I think it could be anyone's game if this actually happens. So I'm actually hoping it does happen. It would be very, very interesting if it does. Yeah, so this is probably one of the closest like playoffs that we've ever had for champs. Um, it seems like majority of the teams stand a decent chance of winning some games and it really, really cascading from that point. Um, I definitely have predicted some upsets here, so if you think that I've got some stuff wrong, which I probably have, in fact, I think majority of people probably have got stuff wrong. If, if the groups have anything to go by, Genji losing, probably going to be stuff wrong here. So uh, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next one.